Hey guys, welcome to Rock in the Country. I'm Don, and today I'm doing a subscriber request, and I'm psyched. I mean, I'm psyched to do almost all of them because I love to be taken on the journey that the stories uh, take me on, you know. And country music just has the stories, and uh, and the emotionality, and the the creativity, and the humor, and the the depth, and the poignancy, and the patience to weave the story in, and all of that. Um, but first, I want to give a shout out to Sweden and Australia, Canada and the UK. Uh, the analytics that you, the the few analytics that YouTube gives us, shows what percentage of views are coming from which countries, and uh, 95 percent are coming. 95 percent of the views come from the United viewers within the United States, and then. Uh, uh, Sweden is up there. The UK is, I think the UK might be at 3%. Australia. And um, I, I just love seeing that. Uh, I, absolutely. And, you know, I reacted to Monica Heldahl's song, Con Man Coming. Uh, that was requested by B. Joe uh, from, now to you, I think you said, I'm going by memory, about four to six hours outside of Oslo. Um, but Monica's Norwegian, she's from Norway, and I loved it. It got blocked, but um, I'm being taken on a journey, and I'm loving this stuff. So, uh, but right now, this song, let's see, Lily McAllister, you recommended this song, Angel from Montgomery, uh, by Bonnie Raitt and John Prine. So these are two heavy hitters. I haven't done anything by Bonnie Raitt. And uh, I love Bonnie Raitt's music. You know, she's got that blue, soulful thing going on. And um, she can really sing anything, you know. I mean, she'd be just as at home on a country label as she would on an R&B label, you know. Um, but uh, let's just get right into this. Bonnie Raitt's, Bonnie Raitt and John Prine. So that's a treat, you know, getting double, double hitting here. And uh, it was written by John Prine. So here we go. I'd like to bring out a friend of mine who wrote this next song, John Prine. They clearly know who he is. Believing there's a living is just a hard 
There is so much in that. Sometimes songs just... I don't know. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one, because one thing I've learned in life's path is that I'm never the only one feeling or thinking a given thing. So you're not alone. Sometimes you think you're alone and you're going through like the most brutal thing ever. Uh, and then uh, you find out you're not, you know, not that that should make it better, but for some reason, not being alone in something, even if it's hard, um, does make you feel better. But, you know, a song like this, the lyrics, I mean, we're going to find out if they get cleared up or narrowed down, let's say, but right now they're still wide open about how to interpret feeling life and growing and how it all works. And I love songs like this. I don't know what it is. I love songs that give me the room to figure it out. Like when, I, when I'm reading a book or watching a movie, I, I don't want all of my thoughts controlled by the writer, the author, the actors. I want my mind to be able to have room to wander and feel and experience, like relate to the lyrics, what they mean to me instead of you telling me what they should mean to me. And it's the same way in conversation. Um... You know, I think sometimes as adults, especially if we have kids, I don't, but we can get in that teaching mode where we want to dispense information and wisdom and the way it works to others. And we can lose sight of the fact that at a certain point in life, we shouldn't be doing that to other people. Sharing things with other people, yes, so that they can find a way to relate to what you're saying without you going on and on and on and narrowing it down. And... uh this is one of these songs. This is what goes on inside my brain. Uh, maybe reaction videos are perfect for me at this time in life. Um, but uh, songs like this just let you breathe, let your mind, your spirit, your soul, all that just breathe and expand to say, wow, how does this relate to me? All right, here's the, re the other half of the song. This right here is letting you feel and think. There's flies in the kitchen. I can hear them, they're buzzing. And I ain't done nothing since I woke up today. of that I miss because I mean it's a true reaction I've never heard that song I've not read the lyrics nothing um, there's flies in the kitchen he hasn't gotten out of bed all day that's generally not a good thing she said to believe in I think she said this living is just a bad way to go or something to that effect. To go, does that mean like a bad way to die? I'm not sure. Um, 
Something about Bonnie Raitt's voice and the way she delivers the lyric has always taken me to a different place. And there are some artists who can do that, obviously. You know, we all connect with different things in life, but, you know, that soulful... It's beyond that, though, that what we say soulful. That just means I lack the words to express exactly what I'm thinking or feeling. But Bonnie has always been able to take me to a different zone. And maybe it takes me out of the, the mechanical, logical, into the realm of emotional thinking, I, whatever. I don't know, but... Um, what a song by John Prine, too. I mean, the dude's got depth. And this is one of those songs where they just let the instrumentation sort of carry you along as well. And one of the words that just kept popping into my head about a song like this is patience. Like, if you're not a patient person, this song will suck to you. Um, or you're like, yeah, it's okay, but I don't want to, I don't want to listen to it. You'll turn it. If you are a patient person, and I had to learn patience in my life, and I've got it now, I'm, you know, by and large, um, I've learned it, uh, and it was hard. I got broken like a, a horse, a wild horse, but I got broken, and uh, now I enjoy being able to hear and feel things I never heard and felt before, and, you know, this song just has a lot of meaning, but Bonnie Raitt's voice, I'd forgot, I hadn't heard a Bonnie Raitt song in a long time, I hadn't heard it, but, you know, I, I do remember some of her songs from 25 years ago, 30 years ago, and they were beautiful. Um, I'm not going to rate that song, but I mean, that's a hell of a song, but I don't want, don't want to rate it just because I don't feel I understand it enough, you know, but I'm feeling stuff you know and i love that part of it too so uh, i'm gonna have to go check out the lyrics at some point and uh, maybe what will happen with my channel is down the road i'll go back and re-review or you know review songs that i'd reacted to earlier that i didn't rate because i didn't necessarily know what they were about but that is a gorgeous song so lily McAllister, thank you so much for that feel free to write your comments as people do and educate me you know just share whatever you want to share in there i'm all ears you know and I do read the comments. You guys probably figured that part out by now because um, I respond a fair amount to them. So that's it. All right. Bonnie Raitt and John Prine, Angel from Montgomery. Um, and she's from Burbank. She was born in Burbank, California, uh, Bonnie Raitt. So, uh, uh, but she wants an Angel from Montgomery. That'd be John Prine's uh, influence right there. So, all right, guys, that's it. Have a great day. Please subscribe and like if you've made it this far. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.